I tried out this new AI powered animation software and I'm really impressed and quite excited about it. So if you're a beginner or a pro, I think it's well worth taking a look and I'll show you why. So something that's really held me back from really getting into animation more and maybe even making my own short film and games is the time these things take. I really thought that AI might actually help with this, but so far it's not doing what it should in my mind do. In my mind, AI should be solving the boring, time-consuming processes that should just be automated, like UV unwrapping or retopology. Now those are the areas I want to see AI taking over. I want to be able to be free with my artistic skills and then have my workflow sped up with some AI tools. I don't want AI to be the artist, I want AI to help the artist. This is why I like what Cascadeur have done. They are using AI to make the animation process a lot quicker and faster, but still keeping the artist or the animator in control. So yes, allowing the animator to be an animator and not trying to do everything for you. And the results, well, they're really fast, really good. Let me show you. So when you first come into Cascadeur, you can use one of their sample models to play around with, or you can easily bring in your own as long as it's rigged. If you've got a model that isn't rigged, you can take it across to something like Mixamo, rig it there and bring it in that way. I'll just use this standard file so you can see some of the really cool things about it. Now if I come around to the front here and let's say move this arm, you can see that when the arm moves, the rest of the body starts to move with it. So the other arm is balancing out, the knees are crouching slightly, trying to adjust to that arm's position. And this is what they call autoposing. It's using artificial intelligence to figure out where the other parts of the body ought to be placed. So let's say if I move this leg up, you can see the whole body shifts as this leg rises into the air. Or if I change the way the front is pointing here, you can see the whole body twisting round. And that just makes it really fast to pose your models into different positions that are more realistic and centered. Here's a file that I've been working on. It's just a very simple sort of kick in the air. This was for me to get used to the tools. And you can see my keyframes in blue that I worked out. Didn't actually use a reference for this. I was just having a bit of fun and seeing how well the auto posing would work. And it looks fairly decent. I'm sure there's lots a professional animator would complain about. But what amazes me is how fast it was to get to this point. This is about 20 or 30 minutes work and I was still figuring out the tools. What I really liked was this auto physics button here. It gives you an AI generated model that interprets all the frames and tries to get all the kind of in-between frames working more seamless and natural looking. All I had to do was press this button and it synced up to the auto physics one and then I can close this down and go in and refine as much as I want to. So it really is massively impressive. Now Cascadeur is free up to a point. In the basic free license you do get the complete animation tool set but there is a limit to the frames you can export and you get commercial use for revenue that's under 100K per year. The pro version is $30 a month and you get everything included. Then there's the business solutions where you get more support and so forth. I think it's great that they offer a free basic option for casual users or hobbyists. And for those that use the tools regularly, then they can get the pro version. For such a powerful piece of software, I really like that. Now it's important to stress that Cascadeur does not instantly make you an animator. You still need to have some skill in animation. You have to pose the keyframes and then Cascadeur kind of does the in-betweens. But you still have to know whether it's really working as an animation and there's lots for you to do to add your creativity to the animations to give them your own style. But it massively speeds up the process and leaves you loads more time on the fun parts. So finally I feel like some developers are actually using AI in the right way. Cascadeur is allowing me to still be in control of my animations. I'm really looking forward to using it more. I've only touched upon the tools really and I think there's loads in there. I think they've got some motion capture in there as well and lots more features on the way. I'm really interested to see if you agree with me on this so give it a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.